Okay, 2001 2000 to 2005 Honda Civic front uh, lower ball joint replacement. Um, we've got it jacked up because we've already, we've already loosened the wheel nuts and we've got a uh, I've got an air gun so I can take off the center spindle nut. If you don't, you have to pull off your um, you have to pull off your center cap, depending on the wheels you got, your center cap or your hub cap, and get to that uh, uh, center spindle nut, which is a I don't remember the size, 32 millimeter, and loosen it while the wheel is on the ground before you jack it up, because you're not going to be able to loosen that thing when it's in the air unless you've got uh, air tools or an electric impact gun. So uh, first thing first, jack it. Uh, once you've got that loose, jack it up, remove the wheel. Spray some WD-40 on the spindle nut. Uh, pry the little pinched in uh, retaining uh, part of the spindle nut where it retains into the spindle. And a little notch, pry that up and out. And then uh, use your air hammer or whatever to remove the center spindle nut. Yeah. Wow, the sucker's tight. And off. And uh, now we're going to remove the brake calipers. Since we're going to be painting these ones, we're going to be completely removing them, including the line and... Uh, and we're going to be painting them. That'll be another video for painting the brake calipers. Anyway, we're removing the brake caliper now. If you're removing the caliper, the uh, the brake uh, fluid line is a 14 millimeter banjo bolt. Be careful not to lose the brass washers. Uh, uh, copper or brass? They're one of the two. Probably brass. Uh, between the, uh, the ends of the line. And it's kind of in there tight. You got to, once you get the, the bolt off, you got to wiggle it out. It's pinched in between the two little posts there to hold it steady in place. And let the fluid drain out. The caliper slider halves are held on with two 12 millimeter nuts or bolts. In the back half, you're going to take them off. It's easier to take them off before you take the main caliper body off of the uh, off of the spindle. It'll just be a lot easier to, to undo. <laughs> Hammer on the outside of the wrench, the, the longest part. Of that. That's where your torque is. Make sure those pads don't fall into that uh, oily bucket. So we're going to remove those, and then we're going to remove the two uh, 17 mils that hold the main caliper body to the spindle, and that's it. If you're just um, if you're not painting your rotor or pulling it off for any other reason, all you have to do is to remove the two 17s and uh, then tie the rotor, the uh, caliper up in the air, uh, so it's not hanging by the hose. Just tie it tie it up to the uh, uh, to the coil spring with something so it's hanging there and uh, it'll be out of your way while we're doing the rest of this okay we're also putting new rotors on while we're doing this so to remove the rotor you're gonna have to there's two Phillips head screws here that secure the rotor to the hub um, they're usually a major pain in the ass okay now we're gonna remove the lower ball joint nut first you gotta take out the little cotter pin clip um, from the castle nut. Um, I want to use these funky little spring clips, but on our new ball joints, uh, these aren't going to fit uh, the same way. It it's, doesn't have this little groove around uh, like the Honda ball joint castle nut does, and it's a little bit longer, uh, the ball joint is. So we're not going to be using this one again, we're just going to be using a regular cotter pin so we can chuck that. Um, so this is a, is a 17 or a 19? Let's find out again. So we're going to remove the lower ball joint nut, 17 millimeter, and be back to you. Okay, now that we've loosened the castle nut, 
loosen it so it's only got about one or two threads left on it because once you get it, uh, the ball joint loosened from the uh, the lower control arm if you try if it's still tight you're going to try and unbolt it and it's just going to spin in there so there's only one or two threads left on it pickle forks don't really work well on the Honda lower ball joint because there's such a space between the lower control arm and the spindle there so hammering on the lower control arm doesn't work because the Honda lower control arm is also hollow so it doesn't transfer the vibrations and loosen up the uh, ball joint so you can use a puller now this car's never been winter driven there's no rust really on it um, am I on that right there? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I'm going to be using a ball joint press. Ball joint remover. And we're just going to, same as the, lot, the other side, we had to put a ton of pressure on this thing, basically crank it. So it's pushing the ball joint trying to, it's it's pulling down on the arm the, the top arms of this are pulling down on the arm while the center bolt is being screwed up and pushing up on the tie rod end and is that a 19 or a 17 it's a 19 oh, see a hammer from the front I'll turn the wheel the other way and I'll hammer from the front I tell you this is not the way Tie rod ends usually come out, they're usually out in two seconds. There Thank you. Go. Screw you, Honda. You hear that snap? It's like an explosion. <laughs> okay, now the, no the lower strut bolt is out. We're just going to raise this and pivot it up and push the drive axle back through and just pivot this whole thing up and we'll be able to press the ball joint out when we're up there. So you just we're just gonna raise this up and pull the push the axle through. Which with one hand <laughs> you pulling on that? It will come. So tapped out, and now we're, we can get right to that ball joint, and we can press that out. This one does not even have a retainer clip on the inside. Hmm, neither did the other one. And we had to cut the bottom nut off because it just, from all that pounding, was screwed. But we're throwing this ball joint away, so we don't really care. So we'll get to this and show you in two seconds. Okay, we're using a big ball joint press. You can get these at uh, Princess Auto in Canada, uh, Harbor Freight in the United States, like 29 bucks uh, or less on sale. And uh, we're going to press the ball, upper ball joint out. We're using this cup to receive the top of the ball joint. That's where the back of the, of the, the big C-clamp is going to go. And then it's going to press this joint from this side. We're going to put this adapter over top and push it. And it's going to push it through the arm and out. And then we'll just reverse the process to pull it back in. And uh, I'll put this down so you can watch it. It's it's pretty simple. At least I think I can make a mistake. Hold that in place. I was trying to just set that on. Get away with. I'll slip that over the. Yep. Is it on there? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Hold that one. <laughs> It doesn't work. Ready? <laughs> and out. Boom. <laughs> Easiest thing. It's to fall in any good. Okay. I just won't let it go. Put that stupid line still. 
Hey, camera down, camera down, <laughs> man down. <laughs> okay, so there's the old ball joint pushed out. And as you can see, there was not even a retaining clip on the inside of this one. Lovely. So anyway, we'll get everything ready. We'll try to press the new one in. Okay, now to press the joint in, we're going to use one of the adapters on the back that fits into the, the hole here. It locates it so it stays straight. And it's got a cupped area in the bottom that the ball joint will fit into. So it's going to be pulling in this direction, pulling it in this time. And then we'll put the other adapter on the bottom with the receiver cup on there to receive the ball joint as it goes through so it doesn't get wrecked. And I'll set the camera up and hopefully you can see what we're doing because we are trying to beat the rain today and trying to do things half-assed and it's not working. So we're going to have to do it actually the properly, proper way and uh, get this done. So uh, anyway, I'll set this camera up for you to watch. It does not fit on very well. Not the other way. There's a special adapter set for Hondas, but we're not using them. <laughs> okay, is it pinched on there? Oh no, it's not. No, no. You sure? Yeah. It's in there? No, oh, no, it's not in the groove. Yeah, you gotta get it in the... There. That's gotta be in there. <laughs> All right, so you got the C-clip yes. and C-clip pliers. We're going to clear out this groove to make sure the C-clip can fit in. Kind of bring this closer so you guys can see there's a groove along the bottom where the C-clip is going to fit in, the retainer clip. So, it's not going to be easy. Are you backwards on that? What do you mean? Are you going from the back? You gotta go from the front. Yeah, no, you do it right. right. Yeah, you do it. You got it. I'll hold it up. You can do it. Yeah, I've got new ones. I just can't find them. <laughs> I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Put the top half in first. The part away from the the open end. You want to try to get this? It's a pain. It's not a pain when I can find my new pliers, but the old ones are crappy. <laughs> Little teeth aren't long enough. What's that? Freebies. Freebies? Free rust. Yeah. Oh my god. Here, hold the camera, I'll try and do it. to get another set. I got a brand new set somewhere. Yeah, you still right there. I got a whole, I got three brand there. new. There. Right there. Okay. Are we in the slot? Yeah. Top and bottom? Sure about that? I think so. Let's make sure. I'm 99.99% .99 sure that's in. Yeah, it's in. It's in. And that clip is what retains the ball joint in from moving back up and out. So, anyway, now the whole deal is going to be reversed. We're going to stick the end of the drive shaft through the hub, and as we lower it down, we're going to push down on the lower control arm, set the lower ball joint through the hole, bolt everything back up again. And uh, that's basically it. Okay, the upper. Um Brain death, upper uh, strut bolt, uh, the camber adjusting bolt, right here that's been lined up again and tightened, and the lower bolt's been inserted and tightened. This one never came out, this was this one, the top one was just loosened so we could rotate the whole assembly away, and that gave you plenty of room to slip the drive shaft out. Um, uh, center nut's been put back on, torqued, hasn't been, uh, uh, the, uh, it hasn't been hammered over into the lock. 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. We just have to bleed the brakes because we put new brakes, pads, uh, new pads and rotors on and painted the calipers. Um, I don't know if I'll do another video on the calipers or not. Uh, calipers are calipers. Uh, pretty easy to see how we painted them. I did film a couple things on it just in case, but uh, uh, da -da -da -da. lower ball joint is on and tightened up. Can't think of anything else to add.